every time a host goes down, it's shown up as a little blip on our map. And you can see these little blips start going all over the New Jersey and, and New York area. Welcome to The Full Spectrum. I'm David Schneider. Today, we're going to be talking by phone with Aaron Schulman, a graduate student in computer science at the University of Maryland. He's been working with fellow graduate student Ramakrishna Padmanabhan and his advisor, Neil Spring, on an internet monitoring project where they look at the residential internet outages during incidents of bad weather. They were ready when Sandy struck, and they produced a remarkable animation showing uh, the results. Thanks for joining us, Aaron. Can you tell us a little bit about the project? The goal of this project uh, is to observe how residential inter internet connections are affected by sort of everyday weather events like rain and snow and thunderstorms, and also by these uh, more severe events like Hurricane Sandy and last year, Hurricane Irene. We started the work actually about a, a year ago. We monitor the alert feed from the National Weather Service. And basically, uh, for all the counties in the United States, whenever there's a weather event coming up, they'll issue an alert. When an alert comes up for an area, uh, we find residential Internet IP addresses in that area. Then we send ping messages to these IP addresses. And basically, it's a simple message that uh, we send from our server, and then the residential Internet connection will reply to that message. So you should have a, a, a good picture of the Internet going out neighborhood by neighborhood. So... At the beginning here, uh, we see that most of the connections we're pinging, uh, most of the IP addresses we're pinging are up. And uh, we're pinging 70,000 IP addresses here as the storm is approaching all around the East Coast. And as it continues, uh, we start to see there's an early failure somewhere in the uh, Washington, D.C., Maryland area. We can see that Maryland's... Uh, percentage of hosts that are up drops down to 90%, which is sort of an interesting thing. Now, as the storm is sort of coming on shore, uh, we see that uh, these little, every time a host goes down, it's shown up as a little blip on our map. And you can see these little blips start going all over the New Jersey and, and New York area. But what's interesting is we also see them sort of all over the Pennsylvania, all over the state of Pennsylvania, Connecticut, and even there's a few correlated blips that look like they show up in uh, Massachusetts. So we can see sort of the widespread outage as it occurs here. Uh, now, when the, uh, when the hurricane disappears from the map, we now see sort of the recovery. And these are some hosts that are now going to, again, after the storm passed, start responding to our pings that we're sending them. Well, those were some remarkable results. Thank you for joining us today on the Full Spectrum, Aaron. I'm David Schneider.